the Biotech 5.1 and 10.1 are mechanical biological filters for garden and koi ponds, up to 45,000 litres, depending on the fish stocking levels. The foam media has a very high surface area, allowing for rapid colonization of essential filter bacteria, and OWASA grants a clear water guarantee on the filters when used correctly. These filters are characterized by their large filter volume, which creates an ideal environment for removing solid particles from the pond, removing excess nutrients from the water that would otherwise result in algae growth and maintaining the correct biological balance in the pond. Each filter has an integrated pollution indicator, water temperature gauge and an overflow system to avoid the filter overflowing when clogged with debris. The filters are exceptionally easy to maintain. Simply pull the cleaning handle on each foam to squeeze the waste into the bottom of the filter and an integrated sludge drain then removes the collected waste. A clean water connection for a garden hose is included, so the filter can be flushed clean during maintenance. Oxygen is drawn into the filter via special Venturi nozzles on the inlet of the filters. The increased oxygen levels in the water are beneficial to the filter bacteria, helping with the biological filtration. There is also an additional connection for air hose, so targeted oxygenation can be provided into the filter via an external air pump, such as the OASA Aqua Oxy. Installation. Firstly, remove all packaging and read the instruction manual carefully to familiarize yourself with the product and the accessories. The Biotech 5.1 and 10.1 filters are pump-fed meaning the outlet of the filter must be above water surface level. If you are feeding a waterfall or watercourse, the outlet must be above the top level of the waterfall. The outlet must always be able to drain via gravity and will not push water uphill. Position the filter on a firm, level base. Care should be taken to position the filter where it will not fall or be knocked into the pond. To connect the inlet from the pump, cut down the stepped hose tail to the correct diameter. Push the hose onto the hose tail and secure with a hose clip. Place a flat gasket over the thread of the hose tail and push through one of the inlet holes on the filter. Push an O-ring over the exposed thread, then screw the inlet nozzle onto the thread, taking care to ensure the nozzle points in a downwards direction inside the filter. The second inlet hole should now be sealed, using the closed hose tail provided. Using a flat gasket on the thread, push the thread through the second inlet hole. Push an O-ring over the exposed thread and screw on the inlet nozzle. You require discharge pipe pieces and elbows where necessary to channel the outlet back to the pond or waterfall. Push the required discharge pipe pieces onto the outlet and ensure there is sufficient incline for the water to exit the filter under gravity. If required, additional aeration can now be connected to the filter. Remove the lid of the filter and connect the air hose from the air pump to the connection just below the outside rim of the filter. Connect a short length of air hose to the connection on the inside of the filter and place the air stone into the bottom of the filter in the desired position. Then replace the filter lid. Ensure the waste outlet is covered with the blanking cap. Then connect the power supply to the pump. Check all connections for leaks. Additives such as starter bacteria and biokick can be added to the water flow inside the filter chamber. Remove the lid of the filter and pour the required amount of the additive into the chambers on either side of the sludge drain slide valve handle. The filter can take a few weeks to biologically mature, so always consider if this is being used on a pond with fish. Always consult a qualified electrician when installing any electrical equipment in your garden, and remember to disconnect the power supply to any pond equipment before entering the water, or performing any maintenance tasks on your pond and pond equipment. Maintenance Before performing any maintenance on your pond equipment, always disconnect the power supply prior to commencing any work. For regular maintenance, the foams should be cleaned when the pollution indicator rises. Firstly, the drain hose should be connected. Push the 2-inch hose tail through the retaining nut. 
and push onto a length of 2 inch diameter hose. Ensure the hose is of sufficient length to reach the desired outlet position of a drain or flower bed. Insert the flat gasket into the retaining nut. Remove the blanking cap from the waste outlet and connect the drain hose. Open the lid of the filter. Pull the handle on each foam and pump several times to squeeze the collected waste into the bottom of the filter chamber. Lift the slide valve handle and the filter will drain. You can rinse the filter chamber with clean water by connecting a garden hose to the connection on the top of the filter. When clean, push down the slide valve handle and disconnect the drain hose. Replace the blanking cap. Reconnect the power supply to the pump and check for any leaks. For more thorough cleaning, disconnect the power supply to the pump. Then remove the lid of the filter. Unclip the internal lid of the filter, remove the foams and place on a clean flat surface. Unclip each foam holder individually from the internal lid and remove the foam from its holder. Rinse the foam in a bucket of pond water, squeezing several times until clean, then replace onto the foam holder and then fit back onto the internal lid. Repeat for each foam. When all foams have been cleaned and fitted back onto the internal lid, replace the internal lid and foams into the filter. Clean the filter chamber with clean water and lift the slide valve to drain. Remember to connect your drain hose if required. Replace the internal lid and foams into the filter and secure with the locking clips. Check the blanking cap is fitted to the waste outlet. Then reconnect the power supply to the pump and check for any leaks.